After several more days of trying with no success, my guide Peter suggests we visit the only village in the area and talk with the locals to see if they can give us the information that we need. The Trio tribe's village at Amotopo has no more than 20 huts. It is their only settlement on the Corentin River. They live with the wolfish, so they know it better than anyone. I'm hoping they will share some of its secrets with me. How dangerous exactly is the Anumara? Atinyu was hunting, and he came to a creek near here called Mosquito Creek. And there was a, a troop of monkeys crossing the creek. They were going to the furthest branch on one side, jumping across onto the furthest branch the other side, and the whole group of monkeys had jumped apart from the last one. One last one been there, ma no sap sa make a fault that of what I know what one missed the branch, landed in the water. As soon as it hit the water, it was attacked by a wolfish and killed. Suddenly the stories come thick and fast. So somebody was actually bitten on the arm. That speaks of a real sort of aggression. Tino's uncle was uh, hunting one day with his dog. They're hunting dogs, when they're hunting, they're barking, barking, barking. Tino's uncle found his dog dead in the creek with its stomach ripped open. And there's now another incident of, of somebody getting bitten, in this case, on the thumb. So there's another two animals to add to the list, snakes swimming on the surface and just being taken from below. There's a, a type of bird called an animal. This is a bird that comes to the water to drink, and likewise, that's just grabbed by one of these fish just lurking there in ambush. Is I think you sort of, you know, wary about getting in the water sometimes. No. He's not jumping in yeah. because where people don't fish, the Ayumara just very uh, raw aggression. People outside South America, they know all about piranhas. Now, locally, a wolf fish, this is a fish with a very big reputation. It's known to be very aggressive, and there are certain circumstances where they will literally rip anything apart that goes near them. Reptiles, birds, primates, even people. After listening to the trio tribe, it's clear that having the weaponry is one thing, having the attitude is quite another. The wolffish is well equipped with both. But one thing still eludes me, where do you find them?